My classroom is full of differences, but I think I will not be accepted for who I am. Hey Almer, can you come here for a second? Yes, why not? I wanted to tell you something, because you are my best friend and I trust you completely. You can tell me everything, I'm always here for you, no matter what. I wanted to tell you something, but please don't freak out and please don't tell everyone around here. It's a big deal for me and just to let you know, this doesn't change anything for who I am, so I want to tell you that I'm gay. Oh, uh, I can't believe, I don't know what to tell you. Can we talk about later? I need to go. Uh, I cannot believe it. I shouldn't tell him. I regret it now. What, 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 what if he tells this to my family, to my parents, or worse? Couple hours after school, Mike is sitting in his room, scared in tears, getting all these messages about how he's gay, how he's sick. Mike is looking at his phone and seeing a lot of fake news about him. Mike, this is unfortunate, but you have two options. You can take pills or you can listen to my advices and we can discuss different topics every week. And we can see results in a year. A year has passed and Mike changed school, friends and his family finally accepted him. Now he is happy because he doesn't have to hide his true self anymore. Good morning, students. I come today for a speak with everyone about the problem of plastic and, and to see how, how it is affecting us in the future and right now. Our oceans sustain life. An abundant ocean can feed a billion people a healthy meal every day forever. But now they are being filled, killed by throwaway plastics. The equivalent of one garbage truck of plastic is dumped in the sea every minute. 17.6 billion pounds every year. Plastic is everywhere in our ocean. Oh, it would be great if I invite my friends to join me and to clean the beach together. Oui, alors le plastique ça pollue, euh, ça tue les tortues, ça tue les poissons. On va ramasser le plastique sur la plage. C'est bien contre la pollution. Yeah, yeah. Tatiana is 19, and every morning she is having breakfast with her parents before school. She's in a happy relationship with her girlfriend. Dear, how was last night? It was good, Dad. We went to watch Joker with Maya, and you know what? The movie is great. There's actually a very explicit scene in it, but it has its message. Explicit scene? What happens in it? Sorry, Dad. You must watch yourself. I don't want to spoil it for you. All right now. 
How's my doing? She's doing good, Dad. Is she coming over today? Maybe, but maybe we'll go to her place after school. We didn't discuss it yet. Okay, say hi to her and congrats for the exam. I will, Dad, thanks. Mom really made this good food. You agree? As always. At the same time in another country, Zara is having breakfast with her parents too. She's also 19 and she's in a secret relationship with her girlfriend. So Zara, where were you last night? Sorry for coming home a bit late. We had some extra activity at school. Mm -hmm. What activity and with whom? It's for the history class, for some workshop. Was the whole class there? No, only few of us that are good with uh, Italian history. Uh -huh. Who is in the group? Aiza, Fatma, Zilan and also Marion. Uh, I don't like that Marion girl. What's going on at work, Dad? Nothing special, but so what's this history project about? Is it useful for you or you're just wasting your time again? I like history, Dad. I don't like that Marion girl. She has a bad background and how she looks. Um, I don't like it. She's a good person, Dad. She is a problem. Later that day, Tatiana meets with her girlfriend. Hi, why are you so happy this morning? Because of you, of course. And mom made a great breakfast. As always. Dad says he can't wait to see the book you found for him. I will bring it to him today. He will be so happy. I love you. Let's go to the school. At the same time, Zara is meeting with her girlfriend Marion in another country. Hi, dear. Don't call me like that on the street. Somebody could hear. What's wrong, Zara? Your eyes are sad. Nothing. I just... Uh, I had a conversation with Dad. It was very unpleasant. I think he suspects. Why do you think that? What did he say? I can stay after school today. Zara, I'm here. I love you. I know. Don't come that close to me. But I want to hug you. Not now, please. I'm afraid. I love you, Zara. I love you too. Tatiana and her girlfriend Maya arrive to school. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, guys. You're on time. Where's Maya? She went to see the English professor for something. You two are inseparable. It's always good to see you together. Justin, what's that? Why are you so emotional today? A girl dumped him last night. I didn't like her that much. Come on, Justin, don't be sad. No worries, you're cute, so very soon there will be a new one. Thanks, Tatiana. Want to see something funny? Maya sent me this Instagram clip last night. You will scream laughing. Show it! I wanted to see it too. Come, boys, let's play the clip then. At the same time, Zara arrives to school in another country. Zara, you are here? Hello. Look at her. What is she wearing? She looks like a trash bag. There's something wrong with her. Hey, Zara. You didn't say hi to me. Uh, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Sorry. Hi, Hans. Hi. So, there is this boy, Hamza. He's interesting in you. Should I give him your number? No, please don't. Why? He's cute. His parents are getting him a car. You will be treated like a princess. Don't give my number to anybody, Hans. Why not? He's a good opportunity for you, Zara. Don't miss this one. I'm not interested, Hans. Just leave me alone. I told you she's a lesbian. There's something wrong with her, for sure. comes to coronavirus, she's going to infect all of us. We don't want people like you in France, so go back to China, okay? Ha <laughs> 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 she probably doesn't understand us so perfectly. 
I have done nothing to you guys to treat me this way. But we don't need your virus in friends. I can't believe I'm witnessing this. How dare you speak to this woman like this? Shut up. Mind your business. Leave her alone. This woman already went through a lot. She's not even Chinese, she's from North Korea. And I strongly advise you to read a book about her journey to safety here in France. This woman is called Siu Yuan and she's a writer. Thinking that she has the virus just for her oriental look is wrong. I strongly advise you to apologize to this woman and think of your actions. She's right. What we did was wrong. I'm sorry for what we said. It was insensitive. We will never do this again to anyone and also, I would be interested in reading your books, madame.